turning on Forgotten what your face looks like What it feels like Hello, you join me from a very windy but very sunny walk and it is an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm so excited to be out today because I've come back to a place that I actually stayed in at this time last year. It's nestled in the South Downs and I'm all here for a few days. All I did was spend my mornings, afternoons and evenings out walking and we found this beautiful hidden valley and I just never felt so peaceful and I can't believe such a place is nestled in the South Downs where I've, I've always been next to all my life and I never knew existed. And today I want to take you back there. Um, I'm a bit nervous, you know, when you've attached such a happy memory and nostalgia to a place, it's always a bit of a risk coming back and will it live up to that image in your mind that you have, but this valley is spectacular, I'm, I'm sure it will, so let's go see it. Dragonfly heard the message Darkness was home for the stars It spread its wings to the surface Bright colors set them apart tell you how gorgeous this valley is. I absolutely love mountains and big landscapes but there is something about the quaint English countryside and rolling hills and valleys of the downs that they hold a special place in my heart. It's just a beautiful landscape to be in especially on a beautiful, not even, it's barely spring. It's still really a winter's day but it's just so sunny, clear blue sky against the green. Oh, it just makes you feel so, I don't know, you always forget how spring makes you feel until it comes again, the sweet smell of the air and how happy it makes you feel. Oh, it's just so nice to be out.
just come out of that one incredible valley and it took us up we actually ended up out at Chanchenbu Ring which is famously quite a haunted creepy site because there's just a halo a ring of trees at the top that look really unnatural in fact they are they were human planted but there's a lot of um, ghost stories that have come out of there and quite scary experiences people have had as it's got a bit of a reputation of the place to not be a night so we left that place and now we're coming back down another gorgeous valley through a woodland you can hear the leaves crackling underfoot and every single tree is just absolutely covered in moss and lichen and all the leaves the leaves the branches are spindly it's got such a great atmosphere I didn't end up talking too much in this video and that was purely because I was too busy drinking in the views and smiling in the sun. There really is something special about the English countryside. The words quaint, cosy, traditional and beautiful always come to mind for me. And out on this walk it felt like all of that with the rolling green hills and the sweeping skies full of buzzards and red kites against the backdrop of singing birds, the bellows of cows and the barks of pheasants. It felt like I was walking through a Thomas Hardy or a Jane Eyre novel. It really felt like at every curve in the valley track I would be met by pretty milkmaids with their white caps and braided hair, or a family all dressed in their Sunday best on the way to church, or a horse-drawn wagon coming down a country lane loaded with the latest turnip harvest to sell at the farmer's market. I came home with that beautiful, gentle buzz and glow that you only get from a day out communing with nature and the sun and I'm already dreaming of going back and capturing that feeling again. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me watching this video. I really appreciate it so much, and if you choose to subscribe, I look forward to taking you out on more walks with me. If you enjoyed this video, you might also find a little piece in my previous one, where I go bird watching for herons, kingfishers and woodpeckers at my local nature reserve. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely day.